What's up, guys? Hope you're all well. Hope you all had a good Christmas. I hope you enjoyed your New Year's, and I hope you enjoyed the darts as well. The darts was really, really fun. But the World Championships is over. 2022 season is completely done. And I wanted to go through and have a look through some of the rankings and stuff because, because we all love the rankings. We all love how people have got on. So I took the rankings from exactly one year ago, and I compared them to the rankings of today. And we're going to go through and see what the players have done, who's gone up, who's gone down, Who's come up the highest as well? I'm pretty sure you guys can probably guess who the highest ranked climber is for this year. He starts with Josh and he ends with a rock. But obviously that was going to be the case. Let's have a look through the rankings. Let's go through and let's find out who's been the highest growers this year and who's been the biggest fallers this year. If you do enjoy this video, leave a like on it. Subscribe if you're brand new. It means a lot to me. It makes a big difference to the channel. And we just hit 50k as well, which is amazing. So let's get into this video. Let's go through the spreadsheet that I've made and let's have a look at the rankings. So this is the spreadsheet that we have made. Now, if you want this spreadsheet, you can go and find it. I'll link it in the description so you can just download it and open it up on your own computer and have a look through because it's really fun. But basically, it shows the players on the left. It shows their ranking from 2022 and their current ranking in 2023. Now, some of these might be a little bit messed up just because players weren't ranked then and are now. But if we see any of those, we'll get to it anyway. It's no problem. Um, so some of the biggest fallers, uh, 133 places, Wayne Jones, obviously unranked now always like bottom of the rankings dropped 133 places this year Danny Lowby down 85 places uh, Darren Webster's down 61 places obviously a few of these players did go to Q school and stuff so it's kind of understandable once we get like a little bit lower down it'll make a bit more sense and be a bit more consistent but yeah Christian Kiss down 56 places Glenn Durrant Glenn Durrant ended 2022 at world number 31 and he started 2023 at world number 80 so he dropped 49 places which is quite a lot really quite surprising lisa ashton dropped 48 places this year um who else have we got jeffrey Deswan 41 places fallon sherrick 37 places there are some really cool stats in here so if you want to check this out then feel free go ahead or just pause the video i mean whatever you want do whatever you want it's up to you devin peterson is down 32 places this year he was defending quite a lot of money and uh, yeah down he went from world number 26 at the end of 2022 to world number 58 which is a big drop big drop let's go have a stroll down and have a look at some more players uh ian white ian white is a big faller he's down 19 places so he's gone from the world number 24 to the world number 43 one of the most unbelievable non-world championship qualifiers was ian white the fact that he didn't get into the world championships is actually unreal uh, i'm extremely surprised by that but down 19 places uh, some other players that you may know gary anderson he's down 16 places over the course of the last year he went from the world number six spot at the end of 2022 to the world number 22 spot at the end of, at the end of 2023 which is quite surprising for gary to drop that far uh, a couple of other players that you might know simon whitlock down 13 places uh, he he was 25 he's now 38 so a little bit of a drop for simon whitlock and then a few other players merv king's down 11 he's down 11 places jeff smith's down 11 places uh darius labanowskis is down nine places what other players have we got in here let's have a look dave chisnell down five places steve beaton down five places so all of these are like players who have dropped down the rankings Gerwin price he's down three places he's still the world number four but he went from the world number one to the world number four so he drops three places in the rankings dimitri vanenberg has come down two places and uh, yeah joe cullen surprisingly has come down one place despite getting a major this year but joe cullen down one place but now we get to the people who are very much very much haven't moved so there's a few players in here who haven't moved peter wright stayed world number two michael van goen stays world number three uh, william, william o'connor stays world number 37 and martin clearmacher stays at world number 40 but let's get into the people who have risen who's gone up the rankings this year who's been doing well who's been outperforming their previous previous years on the tour johnny clayton up one place he's now the world number seven Ryan Sell is up one place. I've got big hopes for Ryan Sell in 2023. Hopefully, we see Ryan Sell drop, uh, break into like the top 12, maybe the top 10. That'd be amazing. Uh, Dirk van Dijvenbode, he's up two places as well to world number 13, which is brilliant. Um, Gabriel Clemens is up two places to world number 19. We've got a load of players here who have just kind of come up because 
the like they weren't they weren't unranked, so we'll kind of ignore those ones. Michael Smith. Michael Smith is up four places since the beginning of last year. He is now the world number one. He left the world championships last year as a runner up at the world number five spot, but he's now the world number one, which is awesome. I'm so happy he won that, by the way. Rob Cross, surprise for a lot of people, I think. I think I think people aren't expecting people I don't know what it is about Rob Cross. People don't get people. They're not surprised when he wins, and they are surprised when he loses. When he loses, everyone talks about him. When he wins, no one really mentions it. Uh, he's come up four places. He was the world number ten at the end of last year, and he's now the world number six. So quite a bit of surprise. Uh, Kim Hyrex is on the up again. He's gone from 35 to 31. Uh, a couple more players. Nathan Aspinall, he was coming off a bit of an injury uh, last year, and he's done really well to come back from that. He's gone from the world number 14 spot to the world number 9, so he's come up five places. Uh, Adrian Lewis as well, another player who everyone seems to think is, on the, is on, the, on the decline. He's had a decent year. I think he might have won a Pro Tour this year as well. But he's up five places from 39 to 34, so he's getting back towards that top 32 spot, which is really, really good. Uh, we love to see Adrian Lewis back again, so hopefully hopefully he continues, continues to grow. Con continues to grow as well. Callan Rids, um, a little bit of a, I don't know if that's a surprise or not. He had a really, really good last year and he's just continued to do it again. He's up seven places from 30 to 23. Uh, what about some other players who we uh, who we know the names of? Danny Noppert, standout year for Danny Noppert. He was, I think I had a look the other day, I think he's the fifth highest earner of 2022, the whole of 2022. Uh, he is up 10 places, so he's gone from 18th to 8th and uh, potential Premier League pick. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments who you think should be in the Premier League because that's a that's a big conversation at the moment and uh, we will we'll hopefully find out the answer soon. Um, who else have we got? Chris Dobie's come up 11 places this year. He's done really well himself. Uh, Florian Hempel up 12 places as well. Um, let's have a look. Damon Hetter, he's come up 13 places. So he was the world number 29. He's now the world number 16 which is good. He's he just, just broke into the top 16. I think he deserves it as well. Fair play to Damon Hatter. I hope he has a good another good year. Luke Humphreys comes up 14 places. He left 2022. He started 2022 at the world number uh, 19 spot, and he's now the world number 5. So a big rise there for, for Luke Humphreys. Uh, a few players here. Ryan Meikle up 15 places. Ryan's super consistent. He does. He's he's like, he's like last 16 or last 32, most pro tours. He He's played well, well at the World Championships as well. He had a few. He had a good game against Lisa. Unlucky against against Barney as well. But very, very consistent player. I wouldn't be surprised if he keeps adding like five to ten spots onto his rankings for the next like five years or so and gets up to that sort of like top twenty place. He's very, very good. Uh, Ross Smith, another another standout player. He's up sixteen places this year. Ended on thirty three. He's now world number seventeen. And let's have a look through uh, some more players. So we got um, we have got Alan Souter finished last year or started the last year on 51 now the world number 32 he's come up 19 places this year which is really really good to see and uh, let's keep going keep going keep going a few a few of these sort of like the higher numbers are just people who like either were, were unranked or have a, have a new ranking this year so like for example a few of these players like um like andreas borbally he was 2224 was unranked he's now 196 so he's come up 28 places that's kind of how this spreadsheet works but it's pretty easy to understand if anyone decides that they want to um they want to give it a go and download it link in the description jim williams he has come up from the world number 94 spot to the world number 59 spot which is really good 34 places he's jumped this year uh, Matt Campbell's gone from 111 to 75, 36 places up this year. Uh, let's have a look. Who else have we got? Nathan Rafferty is up 39 places. Um, Adam Gavlaus is up 42 places. There's some there's some good players in here, but we're going to get towards towards the top sort of few players very soon, and uh, then we'll have a look. Bo Greaves is up. I mean, she was unranked, but she's now 144, so she's technically up 80 places. Um, from the from the lowest down this year, Andrew Gilding, guys, Andrew Gilding, tour card holder, wasn't unranked last year, so this is a massive year for him. He has come up 81 places in the world rankings. Andrew Gilding, 81. That is a lot. That is a lot of places in the rankings. That's super super good. Hopefully, Andrew Gilding has another good year and breaks into the top 32. I think it's definitely doable for him. Uh, I would I would love to see that happen. And then uh, let's keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, Scott Williams. So Scott Williams, he was ranked last year. Um, he was 173 in the PC. He's now 57. And he also gets a tour card this year, which is really cool. Scott Williams has come up 116 places in the past year. 
which is super, super impressive for Scott Williams. And then we get to some of the other players here. Uh, a lot of these players were unranked beforehand, but one person, one person who was unranked beforehand and isn't now. Actually, let's go through the top five, shall we? Johnny, uh, John O'Shea, he's come up 139 places from being unranked to 85th in the world. Uh, Cameron Menzies, 150 places from unranked to uh, 74 in the world. Danny Janssen with the mullet. I'm trying to grow my own Danny Janssen mullet at the moment. It's coming in slowly. Uh, he's come up 151 places from unranked last year to world number 73. Louis Williams, unranked last year to world number 60. He's come up 164 places. And Josh Rock, unranked to the world number 36. The highest ranked, the highest climber in darts in the whole of 2022. Josh Rock up 188 places in the rankings guys if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more ranking update videos like this if you want to give me an idea of what you want to see prize money up and down maybe something like that then let me know your thoughts in the comment sections below i will try my best to make to make videos that you guys want to watch so if you want to see something particular let me know i'll get it sorted out for you and yeah anyway guys thanks for watching this video hit the like on it subscribe if you're brand new if you did enjoy it and uh, yeah thanks for watching it i really appreciate it i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye Thank you.